Hey guys, of course it's raining. I'm out here. I was gonna record some shots out in the wilderness and tell you guys about my trip this weekend. So I'm gonna sit in here. It is raining pretty hard. Not that I'm afraid to get wet, but I don't know how good the quality of the video would be if my camera starts to get wet. So my son and I have been planning a camping trip for a few weeks. We wanted to get out, set up the tent, get some off-grid outdoor time and enjoy ourselves. I have the minivan camper set up for solo camping and to make sure that we had enough supplies for the both of us for a two night trip, I brought a two person tent and a backpack for each of us to carry. Just like now, there was the possibility of bad weather and having the minivan camper set up would have been handy if it got too bad. Luckily this weekend, we had really great weather and I didn't need to use it but it was there if I had to. In our backpacks, I carried our tent and our cooking supplies. My son is kind of young, so I only had him carry his sleeping bag and the essentials that he would need to keep himself warm and dry throughout the trip. Our route was scheduled to take about two hours and we left kind of late in the afternoon, a lot later than I wanted to because I had to finish up some stuff at work. And because of that, by the time we arrived at the campsite, we only had about an hour remaining until sunset. So I wanted to get my tent set up as soon as possible and get us some dinner cooked before uh, we would go out and explore. My son was really eager to explore, but I wanted to make sure we were all set up and he had his flashlight before we ran around the uh, campsite. The first night at the campsite, my son insisted on sleeping outside. I was okay with that. I love sleeping outside. We slept under the stars and it was about 44 degrees Fahrenheit, which isn't too cold. I had a really light sleeping bag and I packed him a really thick sleeping bag, hoping that he wouldn't get cold and not enjoy our trip. That went great until about midnight when he started hearing every little sound that can be you know, amplified by darkness. And he woke me up and he said, Dad, I think there's a bear or a wolf nearby. And I told them, don't worry about it. The bears aren't gonna bother us. The wolves aren't gonna bother us, which I don't think there's any wolves in this part of the country. But eventually he went back to sleep and we slept great for the rest of the night. It's about 7 a.m. So it's time for some coffee. After we drank that coffee, we went to the Saratoga National Battlefield and hiked about four and a half miles on one of the trails. History has always interested me and it was amazing to try to imagine how events occurred. In the Battle of Saratoga, Benedict Arnold was considered a hero and then of course the rest is history. We've been out hiking we walked about four and a half miles while we were there what i wanted to do is show you while i'm here some of the storage that i use in the van and how packed my van looks when i have two people in it this storage shelf is pretty handy for storing like dry foods canned goods that top shelf in the top of this thing is not useful for traveling around because as soon as i take off anything that's in there that doesn't have any ability to hold itself in place will slide off. I like this more than the table that I've had in there in the past because it does not take up a lot of space and it is actually useful for storing stuff in 
and occasionally I can make coffee right on top of that top shelf there. The next night we slept in the tent and it was about 52 degrees that night, but it felt so much warmer, not only because of the difference in temperature, but just having the shelter of the tent retaining our body heat, it helped us a lot. We woke up early Sunday morning. I packed up all of our stuff, leaving no trace behind, and we headed back home, and it was a great weekend camping trip. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Sorry that it's raining outside. I love going out and walking around in the rain, but again, I don't want to see how that impacts you know, the camera. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe, then you'll be a subscriber and you'll see my next video. And I'll see you guys on my next adventure.